you got that, you got Cause that, you I know got I can that. treat you better, better than you Good morning guys. Today we are going to go around Canberra and go to a few different places. We're going to get some things done that we need to get done, find a few shops that we want to have a look in for certain things and also go to a few places that are dog friendly, that look interesting and places that we can check out with Scout. So I've got up quite early this morning. We camped about half an hour or so out of Canberra and we've driven in this morning, got a quick breakfast and we're gonna head up to Mount Ainsley, which is where we are at the moment. It's got a nice view of the city. The sun hasn't risen yet, but we wanted to catch the sunrise up here. We did see that there was a summit walk, but we just went, followed the road straight up and it's um, a road the whole way up here. So we might find another nice walk to do today. So we're just gonna catch the sunrise and we're gonna take you through our day in Canberra. Absolutely devastated guys. We missed out on the summit walk. I was really keen. I got up at 4.30 this morning and I thought there's nothing I'd like more than to walk two kilometres up a steep hill. But anyway, <laughs> I'll get over it. Uh, we had to just drive up the hill, which was just disgraceful. It's definitely not what I had in mind. But anyway, we'll make the best of the day. What? My love, my love, 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 I'm in paradise whenever I'm with you. My mind, my, 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 my mind, well it's in paradise whenever I'm with you. Right on, I will ride on down the road, I will find you, I will hold you, I'll be there. It's long, it's a mighty long road, but I will find you, I will hold you and I'll be there. Those are the boys, but this time it's real, it's something that I feel and I know you heard. So we waited for the sunrise. As you can see, it's quite an overcast day. We didn't get any good shots of the sunrise at all because you couldn't see it. But at least we didn't trek all the way up for that. Um, but there's a little bit of colour in the sky coming up now just behind the patrol. But that's basically all that's there. You'll see in the footage of what we got. So we're not sure what we're going to do now. We thought we would have a little bit, little bit more time here as we thought we were going to go for a walk and everything. So we'll just head down, try and find some toilets and then see what's up next. So we've found somewhere to go. Our first stop is going to be the Arboretum. Yeah. The Arboretum. Um, we're not, I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks nice. So you can take dogs there. It looks like there's like lots of things to see, sculptures and things and um, different types of trees. So we'll head there and see what it's like. Um, one positive of traveling with a dog in really close quarters, like this guy is, is that every time they fart, they gas you out. So- How is that a positive? It's sarcasm. Oh. <laughs> Super fun to deal with. Frenchies fart so bad all the time, no matter what we feed him. And sometimes we'll just have our windows up and not realize and then quickly be um, overpowered with disgusting smells. But that's one of the positives um, of many traveling with a dog. Um, just today, just trying to plan around things that you can do in Canberra with a dog. It doesn't seem too bad. Dog, here are these ducks. Oh no! <laughs> um, yeah, you can take your dogs to a few places, but trying to find somewhere to camp close has been difficult. So we'll see how we go with that as well. Those are the boys, but this time it's real. It's something that I feel. And if it feels like paradise running through your bloody veins, you know we are heading your way. If it feels like paradise running through your bloody veins, you know we are heading your way. T -t 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 time will it's a never end and hell the sky that we be out whatever the weather my heart my boom boom heart it's a beat and it's a thumping and I'm alive I know you heard it from those other boys but this time 
It's real, it's something that I feel And I know you heard it from those other boys But this time, it's real, it's something So when we were camping at the showgrounds in Yass we were actually talking to a couple that live down here and they were um, telling us about the balloon festival and they told us it was the last day a couple of days ago and said we should come down just for it, like get up early and drive all the way down. But we had a couple of other things we had to do so we weren't able to come. So driving in today, seeing all these balloons, that's just awesome. I'm glad we got to see it. Just seeing all of the, these balloons in one area, um, it's not something you see every day. Absolutely beautiful. If a physic period has run into your bloody veins, you know it's all heading you away. If a physic period has run into your bloody veins, you know it's all heading you away. on a walk for a bit now how how far do you reckon we've gone oh. okay two k's maybe two just through the different types of trees and this is our first sort of like walk or adventure since we left we've been doing more traveling and getting stuff done that we've needed to get done and visiting people so I'm already feeling a bit puffed and we've only just gone basically just down there <laughs> Um, we're gonna go head up and check out the sculpture up the top and then on to the next place. We're talking now because... What do you mean? We know up there we won't be able to talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Scout has this awesome habit of when he pees, which is all the time, he does this little moonwalk thing and flicks up a heap of crap and he's filled my shoes with dirt, like loads and loads of dirt. I have to just keep taking my shoes off and tipping them out. He just has a habit of being able to get me wherever I am. It's my feet are filthy and there's dust and shit all through my shoes. It's been 24 hours, I need more hours with you. You spent the weekend getting even. Oh. We spent the late nights making things right between us. But now it's all good, babe. Alright guys, we're just about done here at the Arboretum. Uh, it's a pretty nice place to come check out. Um, there's a few nice walks and stuff around and a bit to see. So definitely worth checking out if you're around Canberra. Come through, I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah, girls like you, love fun and yeah, me too. I want when I come through, I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah. So we're currently on our way to find a J car. We're trying to find a cord that we might be able to use to charge our laptop um, via 12 volt, like the cigarette plug. We had one, but I think it shorted out um, some of our fuses, so I don't think it was the greatest. So we're gonna look for one of those. And on our way, 
we have passed so much traffic like on the highway all of the um, entry ramps have were just backed up and it's made us realize how um awesome it is not to be working and not having to worry about that like even just being stuck in traffic on your way to work um, and having to do the same thing every single day it's um it's really nice to see other people going to work when we've been able to save up and we get a bit of a break from that for a while all right all done at jcar um we're gonna we talked to the guy in there he was really helpful um Basically, with our laptop, we were running a 12-volt uh, adapter for it, which had to ramp up the volts to 19. And he talked us through it all, and he said we'll just be better off using our inverter in the back, which is okay because we don't use it for anything else. So um, we're just going to use it just for the laptop, um, just running it and while we're doing editing and stuff like that. So we'll just go with that as a plan for now and hopefully um, the inverter just runs it without a drama. to Lake Burley Griffin and we were going to go and get some food have something to eat when we got over there it was just unwelcoming there was like nowhere to park at all um, we couldn't find where we wanted to eat and even then we were still a bit early so lunch was wouldn't have even been started so we headed out to to Western Park which is um, it's got its own lake as well and we were just told by a lady that it's got high levels of blue-green algae. Um, we were going to let Scout have a swim and run around here, but obviously that's not going to happen either. So I think what we might do is just go for a little bit of a walk and then find something to eat because we're both a little bit hungry and a bit over at the moment. And I think after that we might just head out and find the camp for the night because um, we've done a fair bit because we got up early and um, there's nothing else we really plan to do here. When I come through, I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah, girls like you love fun and let me do what I want. When I come through, I need a girl like you, yeah, 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 yeah. I need a girl like you, yeah, 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 yeah. I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's 6.45 And maybe I'm barely alive And maybe this is really it for the last time and maybe I know that I'm drunk and maybe I know you're the one and maybe I'm thinking it's better if you drive Oh, cause girls like you run around with guys like me The sun now when I come through I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah Girls like you look funny, yeah so we've come back to the first lake we went to to try and get some food so we're both over it and grumpy and we've driven around for half an hour trying to find a park there's literally none so we've made our own 
behind this car that's just pulled up on a built up area in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully gonna go get something to eat and not get a ticket hopefully when we come back. So this is not what we wanted to see. It looks like this is just closed. There's no one around. And we've just stuffed around for over an hour trying to find somewhere to park, getting over here just to find this freaking thing closed. I'm hungry. We're over it. We're going to try and find something, anything to eat and get out of this place. Alright, so we just got back to the car. We didn't get a ticket because we weren't gone for long, so that's a bonus. Um, we're not even going to bother trying to find any food around here. We're just going to head out of Canberra south towards the campsite that we found and hopefully find some food along the way. So I think we might end this here. Um, we're a bit over it. Um, we've had enough time in Canberra. It's definitely not made for you to sort of stick around and do a few days, especially if you're camping with a dog. Um, so that was our adventure and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Come through, I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.